Hey, what's up guys? So today, I'm gonna do something a little different. I was playing GTA at my friend's house the other day and in the midst of uh, going on a rampage, <laughs> I realized that the radio and specifically the uh, talk radio stations are absolutely hilarious and they're genius. I actually think they're like a work of art, right? Scripted, uh, acted out radio talk shows. That's something very different, right? So I wanna just dive into them and I figured we can dive into them together uh, and we can get a live reaction because I really have never listened to an entire GTA radio talk show. You know, you get bits and pieces here and there as you're playing, but I wanna to listen to the whole work of art that these people put together. Cause you know, there was people that spent a lot of time and effort on whatever this creation was. So let's dive into it, right? Uh, the first one that I want to get into is quite fitting, I think. It's called Chakra Attack, and I don't know anything about it. I haven't listened to it in full, so I figured that's what we can do today. So without further ado, let's get into Chakra Attack. And I'm your host, Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Um, let's all say that again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> be cleansed one, be cleansed all. Oh, it's time to wake up. It's time to sleep. It's time to wash that dirt out of your systems. It's time to be one. It's time to be one on one. It's time, my brothers. It is time right now. Time for my show. Welcome to this week's Chakra Attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. And I am, as you have already probably ascertained by now, your host, Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Have we um yet, Cheryl? Have we um? <laughs> yes. You heard me go? Um, yes. Well, I'll take your word for it. Several times. This is life. This is what we are giving you. So I'm giving you right now. I'm taking a break right now to give you this right here. Um. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh -huh. Oh, you are one fine girl. I need your strength, baby. I need you here with me. Stay with me, girl. Be conscious of where you are. That's my producer, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Nurse Cheryl Fox. <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> with me, girl. I need you. Oh. I need to go deep now. I need to go deeper. Uh, um, 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 together, together, together now. Come on now. <laughs> you out there too. Um, <laughs> if I don't feel you, you can't feel me. Oh, Come on, man. Cheryl. One more time. Oh. That is beautiful. Yes, we have all. Whatever you are doing, give yourself a big fat. Um, Imagine one great wave of um, love. One great wave <laughs> A great wave of spiritual clarity. Um, Imagine it all um, up your thighs like a big sticky mess of love. Imagine your soul is like a bazooka. This character, I think his name's Brother Ray or Brother something. He needs to be a real person, man. I want to meet Brother Ray. I want to bring him on the podcast and talk to whoever this guy is because this is amazing. We're only one minute in and this is absolutely hilarious, man. This is this is awesome. <laughs> Or a balloon that a little innocent child sets free to the heavens. And the camera pans up as that balloon floats free and a swell of music plays as it soars to the heavens. Then it comes down in the ocean and a turtle eats it and it has internal hemorrhage and dies. You have killed that turtle. That's the wrong message you're sending. Don't set things free that are going to kill other things. <laughs> you are attacking the world in the wrong way. Yes, you are. That's not the way to live. That is not the message to send. Like a python that's too big for your house. And you set it loose in a schoolyard with children. That python's going to wrap itself around kids. And now you have caused a mess. That is not how we do it here, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. That is not the, the, the circle of life. That's the circle of life that leads to death. You hear me, Cheryl? I want to see footage of the in-studio recording of this. Because this is amazing acting. You got to remember that this is acting. They're acting like this is a live radio show, right? This is like impeccable, impeccable acting. I hear you. I know you hear me. Come on. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> for the heavens and when you get there be careful as there's no oxygen in the heavens in the upper reaches of the stratosphere and you will die i promise you you will die <laughs> um you cannot go to heaven as a human you can only go to heaven as a damn angel that might be true 
You hear me? Um. You hear me? Um. <laughs> that's why heaven is full of angels and not living, breathing people. Because people need oxygen and there ain't no oxygen up there. It's a bit like one of those self-pleasuring token games where you make a love to somebody, you put your hands around their neck. They have life, but then you choke the life out of them while you pleasuring them. Oh, Dr. Ray, I like those. Uh, hey, most women love that. I love it. You get on top of a woman, you crush her sternum, you crush her rib cage, yes. you put your hands around her neck, and you're giving it to her and taking it away. You're giving life, and you're taking life away at the same time time. It's two things going on here. It's a hot and a cold. You know, you're choking, but you're giving life and feeling. Squeezing the love into them, but squeezing the life out. It's an in and an out motion going on here. You have just played the choking game. That's health. That's integration. That's what we are here to do every morning before we get started we always um <laughs> that's a chakra attack hey Cheryl yes Dr. A what I just say um what I just say one more time um what I just say um <laughs> what Dr. I just say um. you out there what I just say what did I just say I said um bang 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 no Bang the sound of me banging you. Okay. That's the sound of me attacking your chakra. We bring on Western street knowledge and Eastern spirituality together in a unified approach to contemporary integration. That's amazing. That's amazing. Western street knowledge and Eastern philosophy together. That's Brother Ray. Such that the mind and body are one. Such that the ignorance and knowledge be one. Such that the sense and the nonsense be one. When you put sense and nonsense together, what the hell do you got? You got some bullshit going on in your mind. That's everything mushed together like a goddamn jambalaya. Peanut butter and ice cream, guns and butter, ants in your damn pants. It all makes sense because you eat peanut butter and ice cream, you're going to get diarrhea. And you're going to have ants in your pants. Are they eating the butter? <laughs> they eating the shit. What the fuck they eating? Ants eat so shit because you don't eat that peanut butter and that damn ice cream. But do the ants go? Do they crawl in your butthole? No, they just eat the shit that's coming out your ass. When things don't agree with you, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's sense and that's nonsense together, and they do not agree with each other. And now they have merged and gave your ass diarrhea. We cleansing everything, mind, body, and your spirits. We going big. We going all. All the way, Nirvana, Pruda, Valhalla, Limbo, and this being Vinewood, Bimbo, Himbo, and Dumbo, <laughs> around the world and back again. You got a round trip, girl, to spirituality. Okay. A round trip. Cool. Okay? Yeah. This is the full set. It's something all-encompassing. Like a big compass which has everything in it. Not just a silly arrow that tells you which way to go north, but also a lot of other arrows that tell you other shit. Like which way to the liquor store, or if some fool is getting fresh, or if you are at one with all mankind. A karma compass that tells you street shit and real shit, <laughs> but also lots of other arrows, a whole bunch of arrows in that damn compass. You know no, that? that's just, isn't that a GPS? No, 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 no. You're thinking about navig navigation, that kind of shit in your car. Yeah, the liquor store. You, no, but see, yeah, that's what you're wrong. You ain't in the car. You're navigating on foot. You understand? Uh... Now, I don't know what app you got, <laughs> but your mind is an app. Cheryl, you are a damn app. Wow. <laughs> you flowing. You are floating, girl. Um, <laughs> now say um and you float and rise yourself off the ground right now in front of all these people on the radio. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, now, honestly, you better rise uh, off the ground to find gravity right now. Okay. Um, sure, just rolls off the ground. her ground. She just rolls off the ground. I'm still on the ground. She is floating on her You're spirituality right now. Honest. You understand? She is floating right now. This is this art. This is. Man. A karma compass, everybody. Okay. That tells you street shit and real shit. It's like one of them senses that tell you if there are aliens crawling in the ceiling and they are getting closer and you freaking the hell out because you are like, this alien going to drop through this ceiling towel and whoop some ass. Right, Cheryl? That damn alien <laughs> going to come through that ceiling and whoop.
up some human <laughs> While the men is fighting the aliens, uh, the women are in the corner crying. That's not really fair, but <laughs> it's not fair. But that's what happens in the movies. That's exactly what happened. You hide in the corner, or you try to run and you trip. Okay. Right? Not black women, but white women do trip. I'm sorry. I had to go there with you, <laughs> but I gotta go there. I had to pull a race car out. Comes that's in. what happens. You sit in that goddamn corner and you start to scream and cry. And while the aliens are killing your man, you're sitting there crying. Then they take you up to space and they impregnate you. You understand what's gonna happen to you? Uh, they're gonna take you up there and they're gonna do it to you. They're gonna do it to you good. They're gonna do it to you with their with their, with their, <laughs> with, their, with, their with, with their alien prong. You understand? That's how they do it. <laughs> and that's why you got to get the spirituality in your body right now. Come on now. Um, um. <laughs> Today, it's all about empowering the ladies. Spiritual things come in threes. A three-parter. Only not sleaze and no crossing swords and no worrying about if it's right or wrong or if you enjoyed it too damn much because you're supposed to enjoy every last bit of it, Cheryl. Yes. Do you enjoy every last bit of it? <laughs> I enjoy most of it, yeah. Mm. I don't know about the aliens taking me to bed. You don't know if you're going to enjoy that because it hasn't happened yet. You have no idea what that alien got in his alien pants. You understand? No one knows <laughs> what kind of slong... An alien has. You don't know that, Cheryl. So don't speak on it before you know okay. what the hell you're doing. Because you're supposed to enjoy it all. Every last bit of it. All life should be enjoyed. Right, Cheryl? Mm -hmm. You're enjoying life, right? Yeah, I love I love my life. You go to those music festivals and take Molly and listen to some old ass has-beens play a 25-minute version of a song. 25 damn minutes of the same damn bullshit you done heard before. Patchouli and nitrous, am I right? I love camping and being in nature, like next to my car, 50,000 other people getting spiritual, mm -hmm. sucking on balloons, Dr. A. And then when you wake up, you're in some people's tent and you have no idea what happened. That's right. I love it. Spiritualness is all about wherever you get your core energy. Yeah, yeah. Getting the train in a campsite with absolute strangers while high on hallucinogens? <laughs> Don't matter if you're black, white, <laughs> yellow, old, young, or a bit of every damn thing. Blind, crippled, and crazy. That is a path <laughs> to true enlightenment. You will know a lot about yourself <laughs> after you get on that damn train with a blind, crippled, and crazy person. That damn train start rolling. <laughs> somebody gonna yell out. <laughs> How did they come up with this, dude? <laughs> You gotta get on the train with the blonde, crippled, and crazy person. <laughs> Somebody gonna yell out, All aboard! Yeah. <laughs> you getting spiritual. Yes. Now, talk of the journeys. Every last bit of this crazy journey we are on is called getting respected by any means necessary. I take pride in what the hell you looking at. Because that lets me know what the hell I got. You see, Cheryl? Enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. It's a horizon over there. There's mountains and there's peaks and there's valleys on that body. You understand? Share the women, but just don't leave no stains, because that ain't nice. You don't leave <laughs> a stain on a man's lady. Oh, is that nice, Cheryl? No. Is that nice, Cheryl, for you to get on top of another man's woman and leave stains and don't go to that restroom and get you a towel and wipe her off? It's not. That's very uh, it's unsanitary and it's not nice. It's very unsanitary. You have stained me. Every time I make love to my woman, all I'm thinking about is what, Cheryl? The stain that... That's what I'm thinking about in my mind. I can't get aroused! <laughs> this guy... This guy is... <laughs> what, like, who is this guy? He's an amazing actor. Oh, my God. If he had a real show, I would listen to it. If I'm thinking about the stain that that man left on my lady. Mm, <laughs> let me take a breath. Let me breathe now. I am Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris, and I'm your spiritual guide, Los Santos. I'm a registered health practitioner with an international recognized degree. I'm a trained yogi who can suck both his big toes at once. <laughs> I'm an expert in cleansing 
a devotee of colonics and a wise man. You know what colonics are? Yeah. What do colonics go through? It's goes, it goes to your butthole. Your ass. Yes. It goes to your ass, Cheryl. I'm a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior all at the same time. Sometimes I'm a warrior and compassionate at the same time. I don't know where I'm coming from sometimes. A lady's laying there on top of that bed confused because she don't know where I'm coming from. I'm like a pitcher throwing a curveball or a slider. You understand? You don't know what's coming because you ain't the catcher. You see? So I, so I just did See how I did that? I went into your head and took you to a baseball game. Mm -hmm. You understand? I am a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior. I spoon, I fork and knife, <laughs> and that's what the chakra attack is all about. Love making sometimes mean you need to wrestle or howl like an animal. Oh! Oh! <laughs> anyway. Let's go to the phones. Speak, my child. I love you with all that I have. Take what you want of me and leave me spent. Hello? Hello? Speak up, homie. Hello? Um, hello? Oh, for land's sake. Sure, give me a better call, screener. God was a fool. He had me on mute. Who the hell puts Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris on mute? You kidding me? You disrespecting me? Seriously, woman? Ray, chill the hell out. You're on the radio. I'll light some incense. Calm. I am calm, but I'm also angry. That <laughs> is a duality. That's what Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is all about. Duality. Duality. Do you understand, woman? I can't be understood by you, right? I'm talking a foreign language to you. I'm amazing, you understand? Just give me another caller and stop playing the woman card with your <laughs> unshaven legs and pierced nose and disdain look for everyone else. Uh, yeah, you do. You have a disdain look for everybody in my universe. <laughs> Seriously, I can read your mind and you're wrong. You're dead wrong, okay? Who we got? Call up. Speak. Hi, Ray. Big fan of the show. Um. Um, back at you, brother. Big um. Big um with cheese on top. Um. <laughs> organic cheese as well. Like we got. This is so exciting. I, I knew I was going to get on this week. I really did. Uh, Dr. Ray, I think I'm psychic. Can I be a guest on your show? I, I know the answer. I know the answer is no. Because, because, uh. Because you're batshit crazy, nutcase. Locked up in some loony bin and you call me every week. You call every damn week, run your phone bill up, talking that bullshit. It's, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a loony bin, Dr. Ray. It's a high security mental institution. I, I never got convicted of a crime. I'm very thorough about DNA cleanup. I'm a spiritual being, Dr. Ray. I'm just like you. Um, 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 damn it, Dr. Ray. You're not oming with me. I feel your pain, my brother. We are all one, but some of us are also two. <laughs> and that's that. Bye now. Sure, I'll keep that freak off my goddamn show. Talking to freaks. Did I ever tell you about some nasty twins named Tammy and Sammy who have restraining orders against me <laughs> after some hot yoga got out of hand? <laughs> hot yoga started and it went out of control. <laughs> Where my fault? Damn women, it's 120 degrees. I was getting spiritual. Cheryl knows, I act out when I think I'm going to die. Oh, I'm a terrible fright on a damn airplane. You got to see me fly. Oh, I'm terrible. It's true. They have to scramble the jets. Listen, we can determine turbulence. I'll grab a titty. That's the first thing I'm thinking about because that's where my mind goes sometimes. <laughs> if you're going to die, I'm going to go down in a fetal position. <laughs> Fetuses want titties. I ain't sucking no damn thumb. I'm going out the same way I came in. Everything in the universe is about two. And that again is the duality. When one becomes two, problems can arise. I am very clear about this in my book. Cheryl, what's the name of the goddamn book? When one becomes two, problems can arise. A study in duality by Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. There you go. There you go. Many are called, but few are chosen correctly out of a police lineup. I choose you, caller. Speak to me. Um, with me. Hey, man, I'm calling you from jail. Dad, is that you? Hello? Dad, 
dad. Uh, no. You know you don't know who your dad is. I know that one day he's going to hear me on the radio and realize the spiritual mistake he made and come back and we're going to enjoy all the things a father and son should do. Fishing, bike riding, three ways. Going to a farmer's market. <laughs> Beekeeping, organic honey. Knitting. A dad and his boy. You know. Knit one, pearl two, all that shit. Gangster style. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I can say, Dad, I made you a sweater. And it won't fit very well, but he will wear it proudly. And if any man challenges him, he will say, I ain't no sissy. I ain't no damn sissy. My son made this for me, and he is Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Host a shocker attack on WCTR. Who are you screwing with? Hey, man, are you going to get to my question? Oh, I'm sorry, my brother. I went deep. I went too deep. I went, I went, I went six feet under that time. I shoved the phone up my ass and smuggled it from Jim Pop just so I can call your show. Oh, you poor man. Sure, loves a conjugal visit. Listen, I'm in here for a real bullshit charge. What is it? Triple homicide, total accident, but they deserved it. Anyway... I'm in a spiritual hole. We can help you get out that hole, brother. You in a deep hole. I got to put my hand down there and pull you up. Sure, so get my soul shovel. I'm about to dig this fool out of this chakra hole. Have you fallen down a well, brother? I will pull you out and we can drink of that water together even though you have most likely polluted the groundwater. Like you've been fracking yourself rotten. I'm really into Zen and Omen and yoga, and I want to get married to a woman who will be there for me when I get out in 2025. We can have a baby while I'm in prison. One inmate told me you can smuggle your own baby batter out if you hold it under your tongue and exchange it with a family member in the meeting room. Anyway, I know I've made mistakes. I want someone I can grow old with and brutally murder in our golden years. I think you need some body whispering. Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is a spiritual body whisperer. Um, um, many of you might ask, what are you doing? I'm humming. Why are you making that noise? It relaxes myself and the ladies. You see, hmm, it's a scientific frequency that lulls the ladies into a relaxed spiritual place where the brain shuts off and the thighs go into overdrive. <laughs> Mind off, body on. It's like trying to start a car. Z -z 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 -z. Z -z 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 Z -z 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 -z. That mine is the battery. That battery is drained and dead. But the engine's good. Right? You understand, know Cheryl? Yeah, I can yeah. teach you how to get that frequency. But you have to buy my book and my mm, call. You know how duck hunters have a call they blow on that attracts ducks so they can shoot them like stupid ass sitting ducks? That's where that term comes from. A sitting duck. Because that duck's sitting there. Right? He heard that call and he sat there and got his ass shot. Boom! Feathers everywhere. <laughs> well, I have developed a bird call that attracts women. <laughs> it's called the Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris mm, Spiritual Fine Lady Soothing Call to Attract Women. It's shaped like a sausage, and trust me, it looks a bit strange. But blow it, and you'll see. Walk out on your cul-de-sac or at the PTA meeting and blow on that thing, and women go mental. <laughs> Believe me. I'm sure you have to blow on a sausage. <laughs> but while you're blowing on the sausage, you want to... <laughs> Hell, I had a whole yoga studio full of fine women all over me when I blew that sausage-shaped horn. It was like one of those medieval shows on cable, only we didn't have a dwarf or a yak skin for a blanket. So ignorant fools will say, are you really humming on that sausage? No, I'm cleansing myself. Like, like, like wheatgrass on your radio. That's how you cleanse yourself. But wheatgrass tastes awful. It tastes awful. Of course it does. But a sausage-shaped horn does not. You understand? The wheatgrass through your radio is a metaphor. <laughs> it's a figure of speech. You understand? <laughs> you are a terrible liberal woman. Bad, bad liberal. I bet you don't even give the public radio. No way. Why bother? It's so patronizing. It's like being spoken down to by a beggar. You have to give yourself and your money to public radio. You understand? Do I have to break this down to you, woman? Shut your mouth! <laughs> That's public radio you talking about. I am for profit, but many are not. You are barely talking on this show. How am I supposed to teach you the ways of broadcasting, the ways and means, what I means? Your comment is getting shot off the hell. He's this, he's this almost, uh, uh, you know, almost like a preacher, right? But he's preaching this philosophy 
the Eastern philosophy mixed with Western ideals, like he said, but he's very patronizing to women. Like they actually had to come up with this, you know, they had to go into a, some kind of room and brainstorm ideas about these characters and what the script was going to be. And this guy, like I said, whoever this guy is, shout out him because uh, the acting, he needs an award for this. <laughs> I just want to picture, like, I want to see what Dr. Ray actually looks like. Like, as I'm listening to this, I'm trying to see what this guy looks like and just the energy that he brings into the studio, right? Like, there's this weird visual visualization that's going on in my head. Like, I want to see him and Cheryl's interaction. It's just like, this is... This is comedy, bro. Oh, relax, Ray. I cannot relax, girl. I am not into relaxation. Relaxation is weak. I want to be hit. I am strong. <laughs> hit me, Cheryl. <laughs> hit me with the rain stick, Cheryl. Oh, not this again. I really don't understand how hitting you with a rain stick is helpful. Turn that upside down. Hear those soothing sounds? That is from Australia. And you're blowing to it. Isn't that called a didgeridoo? Whatever! <laughs> hit me with a stick! I'm a piñata! I'm not a piñata! You hear me? Why are you obsessed with piñatas? Because that's life, Cheryl. You either is one or you isn't one. And sometimes you both is. And you isn't. Ain't you learn nothing? If you would focus on your damn chakra for half a second, all would become clear to you. You can hang yourself in the public square and let people hit you with sticks till candy and coins drop out your ass. Or you can sit on the mountaintop and um, <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> I like both. So we got all these lines lit up. Let's go to line four. This guy is really spiritually constipated. I honestly feel like uh, Dr. Ray, or Brother Ray, I actually don't know his real name. What Ray is, he's actually well connected. Like he's, uh, I think he's tapped in. He's got some things he's got to work on with uh, his attitude toward women, maybe. But uh, hey, he's doing his thing. And I think he's actually, he's tapped in. I think he's... Uh, He's an awakened individual. <laughs> it's very wise. He's got an ass full of candy. Let's hit him with one of the big sticks of love. My friend, what's up? Free yourself. Breathe deep. Yeah, that's bullshit what you said about coconut water. Don't you go disrespecting coconut water. <laughs> that's the nectar of the gods. <laughs> From places that are mad spiritual. With cave paintings and bacon sun and drum circles and heat stroke and where you can swim with dolphins. <laughs> dolphins! <laughs> <laughs> and communicate with them. Swim with them and communicate with the dolphins. <laughs> dolphins are delivering babies, you punk ass. I heard the dolphins molest people. Where you hear that, woman? TV? That damn anti-spiritual booty box will suck the <laughs> life out of you in a minute. Make your whole inner... The anti-spiritual booty box <laughs> TV. And someone threw your soul into an oven all covered in egg white. Like this coconut water fool right here. <laughs> Listen, my friend. I just drank some, and I'm a significantly more hydrated than you. I'm hydrated. I'm a whole lot wetter than you. People in tropical locations are never thirsty. They've discovered the miracle of coconut water. Crack. <laughs> Crack, and you fill your glass up. Now, each coconut maybe contains six ounces of coconut juice. <laughs> now, if you got a 16-ounce glass, you're going to want to break two coconuts and hydrate yourself. Or you chop it up and sprinkle it on a coconut cake. You understand? It's called coconut flakes. Listen, the next big thing is going to be potato water. People in Ireland are already working on it when they're not brooding over cigarettes. Potato water is going to be huge. Isn't that vodka? No, in no way. It is unfermented water from a potato. All moisture should come from nature and be available in easy open containers. Uh, coconuts are too hard to open. Nature tells you when it's wet and engorged and ready for you to drink. You press a potato, you get a beautiful fresh juice, which is just like orange juice, only better. I've also been trying cactus water, but I impaled myself. Oh, I get you. I hear you. Let's bring it together, my brother. Right? We had crosswords, but now, let's make two become one. The duality is back. You understand? We are one now, my brother. I'm upset. You upset. My belly bubbling, and I got to take a crap. You got to take a crap. My nose running with snot, your nose running with snot. You feel me? Like when you have multiple universes in a comic book. We are all part of one universe now. Thank you, Dr. Ray. Nature has all kinds of water. 
Sometimes you're thirsty in the desert. You can grab one of those land mammals and squeeze water clean out of it. And sometimes I get so into hydration that I let animals pee in my mouth. That's Ew. Right. I do. <laughs> Ew, I that's do. really gross. Yep. I just love me some organic water. Now, on previous shows, we've talked about factory farming and how those chemicals have ruined everyone's health. You got to only go organic. Shit is expensive as hell, but the females love it. I hold a head of organic broccoli out the window and chum for them hippie girls. Don't I, Cheryl? You sure do. Let them hear it. Let them hear it. It's terrifying. It's also terrifying that it works. Terrifying <laughs> is right, girl. You know how many intimate unions I've had in the grain of truth's parking lot? I'll be ripping off yoga pants with my teeth. Who we got next, Cheryl? Line 7 wants to talk about honey. Dr. Ray D'Angelo, I want all your listeners to know, stop eating honey. My family, we don't even use honey products, or conflict honey, as we call it, because honey is made under oppressive circumstances. Bees are kept in servitude and sexual bondage. They're like flying veal. And what's worse, male honeybee genitals explode after sex. Exploding genitals? Damn! I learned how to do that from an ancient Tibetan dude in the mountains when I was over there for a three-month spiritual journey. Well, there was no fast food, so it was pretty damn emotional. I told this ancient dude in the hills, I said, I recycle. I give to public radio and eat organic. But there's an empty part of me that wants a high fructose corn syrup soda, a big-ass factory farm steak, and to slap hippie girls on the ass and treat them like crap instead of putting up with their neurotic drama and dreadful taste in music. <laughs> hippie drama is the worst drama there can be. And this dude, he was spiritual as hell. You know what he said to me? You know what he said, Cheryl? What did he say? He said, you have to buy the right books. Listen to the <laughs> right music. Listen to the girls, hippie drama, and dig down deep inside yourself and mm, like a mofo. <laughs> and I did. I did, Cheryl. I um until my mama threw me out the damn house. And here I am. That was my time in Tibet. At least I think it was Tibet. Are you sure it was Tibet? Oh, I don't know. Some darn place with hills and sheep and everyone singing in choirs and all inbred. And they played a lot of rugby. Things like that. Tibetan <laughs> stuff, you know. It was real cool. Played some Tibetan rugby. Ate some cheese on toast. Real Tibetan style, too. With legs all crossed. For real. Anyway, let's wind down the show with the final yoga pose of an intense session, Savasana. It's actually Shavasana. Shavasana. Don't correct me. I'm a yogi woman. Yes. Shavasana. 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 I know Shavasana. Or corpse pose. Sure, join me. Come here on the big ray yoga mat, girl. Lay down like a corpse, like you did as a doornail. Lay there like you just got shot or died on a finger food voyage gone astray. I love me fresh corpse. It's so relaxing. You relax with me out there. You relax, Cheryl? You look stiff. Corpse aren't stiff, you understand? Okay, I don't really know what all of this means. Shh. Stare at the ceiling and shut up. All Think right. iffy thoughts. Clear your brain. Yeah. Like, go in your head right now. Let close your eyes. Go in your head. Get a whisk broom. You know what a whisk broom is? You eventually, you'll see uh, a barber on TV, and after he cuts your hair, he whisk broom you off, mm -hmm. your hair off your body. Yeah. Take a whisk broom and whisk your brain out your head and clear your thoughts. Okay. Like, get, do it now. Do it now. Clear your brain all them damn thoughts. Yeah. You feel empty now? Yeah. Is your brain empty? Yeah. Now, let's go. Mm -hmm. Man, I am so empty right now. Like, I got a colonic in my brain stream. I got crap the crap out of my brain. <laughs> Hit the outro music. This has been another episode of Chakra Attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Oh, shit, ouch. Put your hands to yourself. Don't ever do me that way, woman. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Hey, man. I want to go to one of Dr. Ray's yoga classes. That half an hour... That was hilarious. That guy, like I said, amazing acting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I definitely enjoyed. That was the first time I listened to the whole thing all the way through. Dr. Ray, man, he's the truth. <laughs> oh, man. Well, other than that, uh, I think I'm going to explore the other GTA 
talk radio stations and other uh, shows as well because that was great. But I think Chakra Attack was very fitting. Uh, yeah, man. It's all about that coconut water. <laughs> other than that, peace out, everybody.